not anything that looks really, really flat out gorgeous. It's all because I think the wood consistency was pretty awful back then. We are talking about glorified club mosses, you know, so yeah. <laughs> they, they didn't have much in terms of vascular tissue. Yeah. So this part's really cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So this is the lowest bit of section you can see in this area. But it, you can you can do like what's the pristine color, what's the weathering color. It's all very micaceous. It's micaceous silt. Mm -hmm. Holy cow, it is. Yeah, it glimmers. So, mm -hmm. wow. Thinly bedded, friable, yeah. micaceous siltstone, and mm -hmm. I have them do the, the color, unweathered and weathered color. And Pretty near source. With these ironstone, ironstone concretionary objects mm -hmm. weathering out all over the place. Has anybody broken those open to see if there's anything interesting inside? Uh, we have from time to time, but they're kind of monotonous. Mm. No shark's teeth, darn it. <laughs> but then, if, if I can actually drag you guys down. Yeah. Oh, well, see, what we're going to look at is this. See? So here you got a sandstone stringer in the middle of the siltstone. Oh, yeah. So this is this is just the tip, tippy tip of a deltaic distributary channel coming in. Oh, look at those roots going in there. Yeah, and it's got roots. It's got vertical roots in it. And you can see it's really irregular. So here you've got silt and here sand. And you can see the channelettes cutting down into prior channelettes. In fact, right underneath Ian, there's one that weathered out here that was just gorgeous. There's a little bit left, but it, you can't see it hardly. But you can clearly see like one channel with a lower uh, erosional you know, contact. And then that had been eroded in another channel. So you just have super, superimposed distributary channel lets. Oh. Nothing over there behind Melinda. But here all of a sudden, you know, these big these big uh, irregular well irregular bottom because they're an erosional contact. Right. I think that's cool. <laughs> really cool. I think it's really yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah look here's a nice there you go. Yeah. Soft sediment deformation here. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there. My hands are all slippery from yeah. the planty stuff. Hard to tell if that's a plant or if it's an ironstone or both. You know? So all this mica. Lots of mica. Must mean we're pretty close to source. No, mica can actually survive can long distances in a gentle regime. In a gentle regime. Uh, I think, what is it? It's wind blasted away really quickly. Okay. So an aeolian in mica doesn't last. Right. right. But in a, in a in a very low gradient stream, mm -hmm. muscovite can, ha can hang Muscovite can hang in there, yeah. huh? All right. But it does indicate a source rock with muscovite, right? So yeah, that's yeah. clear. Yeah, yeah. So we are below the section we saw at the park now? Absolutely. Okay. Right. Absolutely. How far below? Not far. Not far. Yeah. Because, well, you'll see on the other side. We'll, we'll come back into the coal seam. Right. Okay. Right. So I, I think that's a... Right. The coal seam is, is not... It's discontinuous. Okay. But I think it is a datum for this stuff. You think it is I a... I think it is a... It's a marker bed, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. What did you say you think is a marker bed? The coal seam. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We, we can judge that uh, later on. You said that's below the coal seam and sand above. And they're different, they're different sand you said that coal seam is, is where in relation to this? Down? No, it's or up. Up. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Because what we're going to come into is right. we're, this is going to get more and more predominant until we have a profound ledge of it over on the other side. Okay. It's right. full of lepidodendron roots, both lateral and vertical. Okay. And then above that, we get into a layer of clay with the di which discontinuously becomes bituminous clay and then coal and then mm. back again. Okay. okay. And then above that another sandstone. Okay. That's flaggy. All right. Uh definitely not this sandstone. And you see we are seeing ver some vertical root traces here. We'll see a lot more on the other side. But, oh, yeah, so that's nice. that's very cool right there. Mm -hmm.
And those are illustrated in Doran Eshman, but I have lots and lots of images of the vertical root traces. I've, I've used them as in countless public talks to explain to people that we have indicators in the rocks themselves about elapsed time, mm -hmm. you know. Yes, time is real. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem so during no, quarantine, no. but it is real. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a nice summary of a lot of your uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of more social contributions mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. <laughs> geological discussions. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, in our, in our, uh, especially in our community, like the, there's a lot of influence there with having someone knowledgeable be able to, um, yeah, we and, haven't present and, that. And Calvin has for ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For four or five decades. Yeah. Yeah. It's really special. Yeah. Well, well that's great. But I mean, hope is the same way. Too, right. Though. Sure, I mean, sure, yeah, sure. So. By community, I mean like the community of, uh, Christians no, are yes. interested in, you know, oh, yes. being part of that discussion. Snake. Oh, a snake. Oh. <gasps> there, I don't see. Oh, hi, little buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute, little guy. You're coming out to say hi. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, little special friend. He's tasting your breath. Yeah. See who you are. Yeah. Yeah. You work that Jacobson Morgan. Yes, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Any idea? It looks like maybe a garter snake. Yeah, it's a garter. It's a garter. Snake. It's, oh. a garter. Yeah. it's like I don't get too many visitors down here. No. Oh. No. Is this a good spot to try to well, first of all, do we want to try to plan on coming back here later while well, we have on a day where we have like Mrs. O'Connor would be happy to Permission. have you back, okay. but sometimes you have to call a couple of times just to get someone to the phone, yeah. you know? That's the only real disability. And I could call her and say, uh, my colleague will come back, or you can take samples with her now if you want to. It, it, it would be nice to come back too. This <laughs> is right, right there, yeah. So that's what I'm yeah. It's, yeah. it's been a while since I've walked all through there maybe we can find a little we can, we can go uh, if you like maybe not maybe not this minute but I'm they get uh, the o'connors used to get people that would cross the fence here to fish uh, oh. yeah. ponds, so they put the no trespassing yeah. signs oh there. they see they've got barbed wire along there yeah too. yeah <laughs> not trying to keep the geologist <laughs> no no i thought that was a fossil right <laughs> does have some maybe root traces on it. i used to tell uh, several cycles i told my students that uh, it, it was a, the no trespassing was from the people on the other side, and that one one year they actually shot one of my students. <laughs> 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 and you just kind of see how, how far could you string him along? You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, giant spider over here. Nice. I forget what these are called, but they're huge spider. Is it a wolf spider? Uh, or a daddy long legs or? Right. No, it's like a tarantula kind of spider. Okay, yeah. Uh, Probably a wolf. Yeah, I think that is what it is. Yep. It's about a big inch and a half spider. long in there. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which I got to see. And then, if you look right above the coal, there's that second sandstone. Which is very different from the lower sand. It's, it's flaggy. It's got bedding that's maybe three quarters of an inch thick typically. And it's, it's very consistent. In terms of all the root traces. Size and size and Left over. So again, there's our nodule horizon. And the sandstone. This time. And, and again, so above that, the coal. And this is the same coal layer that we saw over at Oak Western Park. Michigan, it's a uh, uh, marker bed at least. They might say that's the second formation. I don't know. Let's see if we can find any fossils. You can see all little chunks of wood. Pretty beat up. Not a whole lot of excitement. Oh, here's a... No. Not. Let me 
in here and you can see the beautiful root traces in the sandstone. Nice intersecting leaves. Oh, yeah, a little root traces. Well, this is sort of the end of the road, right? It is, yeah. yeah we usually climb up oh, at this up point. Here. Yeah, up to yeah. the top and then work our way back. And of course, at the top, we've got. Then here we've got some a little bit of tilly stuff. All right. Cool. Wow. And tell you folks all the secrets to surficial geology in Michigan. Glacier did it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think this is. Tripod is less helpful here. It's the process of photographing outcrops for students. Documentarian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Did you get that? No, I did not. <laughs> I was off screen. <laughs> okay, gotta, gotta change my white balance because uh, nice little set set creek coming up. Alright, I'm gonna stay out of here. Stay out of the way. Okay. Middle and upper. How many pictures do you think it's going to take? Um, I think I want to try and do, if I can do 15 pictures for each layer. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Just like, oh, cool. <laughs> it's like right at that level that those concretions are at. Geology is always so very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> 